Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Well, wasn't this set the cutest little thing? Guess what? We're not done yet because we're going to make the final step in this gift set. And when we're done, you'll have a fully functional gift to give to someone special. So keep watching. Okay, so here's today's project. We're going to make a mini gift bag so that we can place our wonderful little gift inside. And the gift bag comes with a little pocket on the front and a little tag on the inside. And these are both Project Life cards cut down to size. So let's get started on making this. Okay, so to make this project, we are going to do some scores on this paper. And we have a 12 by 10 inch piece of paper. And on the 12 inch side, we're going to score this at 5 eighths, at 5, at 7, and at 11 and a quarter. And then we're going to turn it to the 10 inch side and we're going to score this at 2. And then we'll turn it again and we'll score it at two on the opposite end. And then we're going to fold and burnish our score lines. And because this paper is so wonderfully thick, I am doing a very crisp burnishing. And this is going to be such a pretty little bag. And then where I made the marks that are 5 eighths of an inch, we're actually going to fold these backwards so that we can have a sweet little border going across the top. Okay, so this is what we're left with. And now we need to come in and just cut out our tab. And I'm going to angle cut this. So it'll look just like this. And then on one end, we're going to need to remove the two corner rectangle pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and just take that out. Okay, so then we're left with this. And now we're going to put our bag together. But before I do, I am going to snip off just a little bit of this because I don't need all of that in the way. And one other thing I forgot. We also need to release these tabs up here. Just like that. So now I'll come back with my glue and I am going to glue this 5 8 strip backwards. And I'll do that on the other end as well. I just love this paper. I think it is just so pretty. Okay, so we've got it just like this. And now what I want to do is I'm going to bring it up and I'll be folding the piece that doesn't have the tab on it. That is the piece that I am going to glue down first. So I'm going to glue that to this. And I'll bring it up just like this. I'm going to match it up at the bottom to make sure it's nice and flush. And I'll come back in on the inside with my bone folder and get that nice and stuck. Okay, so I'm gonna place my glue just like this. Put some glue up here. And just get this stuck down. Just 
just like this. Okay guys, so our bag is done and now we need to add handles. And I've already done one handle that will go on just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and make the other handle with you guys. So I'll bring in my scoreboard and I'm going to bring in a piece that measures one and a half by 12. And we will score this at three eighths and at one. And then all I'll do is um, fold on my score lines, give it a nice burnishing. And I will glue this together. And then I will take my bone folder and just smooth that down, get my glue nice and stuck. And then I'll take the other piece and just fold it onto the other part of this. And then we're gonna give this glue a chance to dry a little bit before we do anything else to it. So I'm just gonna take it and run it along my desk so let's let that dry and while this is drying I have a piece of chipboard that measures one and seven eighths by five and seven eighths and I'm going to use that to go in the bottom just to stabilize the bottom so I'm gonna put this down with some glue just like this and then I'll come back on the other side and just smooth that out and then I'm going to remove the excess. I'm going to take some glue and just place it along the bottom and then I'll stick this down inside of my bag and this will give me just a cute little bottom here as well as help to stabilize in case I want to put something heavy on the inside. So you can see how pretty that looks. So now let's come back with our handles and I'll start with the oldest one that I made. Move some of the stuff out of the way. And then I'm going to take my hot glue gun and just place a dollop of glue and then I'm going to put this down and I'm going to line it up with my fold over piece just like that. So I'm going to let this set up for just a moment. And then I'll come back on this side and do the same thing. Alright guys, so we have a really cute little bag here and I am going to go ahead and just place a, glue, um, a dollop of glue just a little bit right here because I want to put down some beads and I think that I am going to use these little blue ones here. They're baby blue and I think they're so pretty and they really do look pretty on there. So there we've got those down. I'm just going to pinch them down for just a moment. Make sure they're even. And now we get to do some really fun stuff to this. So I've got two Project Life cards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my ruler because I don't want to pull out my cutter. And all I'm going to do is reduce the size of this. And whatever size you choose to use is up to you. I'm not even measuring. I'm just eyeballing a size that I like. And then I'm also going to take off just a little bit here. And then I'll come back with my corner chomper and then just round the corner so that I have my shape. I need it to round it with my half inch. And there I've got my little shape going. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. 
I want to reduce this in size, so I'm going to take off, I'm going to try to take off equal amounts from both sides because I just want a fun little tag. So then I'm going to come back on this side and take some off. And then I'm going to take some from the top and from the bottom. All right, so we're going to place our little tag holder right here. And then I'll take my tag and it says happy day and I'm going to tuck it right in there. And then I have this cute little butterfly that I am going to put right here on the front. I think that that is just such a sweet little way to finish this off. And guys, I'll bring back the little gift that we made. So it's a gift box and this one has tags in it, but yours can have anything in it. But I think that this is such a sweet little presentation and great way to give gifts. And I just love it. So we're going to tuck this down on the inside and you can see how that looks. You can see how it fits and it's just so cute. So I really hope that you have liked this project. I'm going to bring in the second bag so you can see just how cute these are and how simple they are. And we used our Project Life cards cut them down to the size that we wanted them to be, created a pocket using them, and then decorate it. And we've got these wonderful, wonderful little gifts. So if you've liked this project, and I certainly hope that you have, please hit the like button. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, I really don't know what you're waiting on because you've got to admit, this is some fun stuff here. So please, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.